You're one of very few women to have achieved the success that you've achieved in your, in your industry. Why do you think you've been so successful? Why, why you and why have you been able to break so many barriers and stand out as a female entrepreneur, particularly within the tech field? I believe every woman or man, they have uh, opportunities. And I think uh, US, uh, America is such a beautiful country. Myself, uh, you know, I wasn't born in uh, America. I, uh, my family immigrated from Shanghai to San Francisco in 1979. And this is a, I call the user term, often I describe it as American dream. A girl like me came to US, um, spoke almost no English, and uh, be able to accomplish uh, what I could accomplish, which means everybody could. I'm always very thankful to teachers and professors, e even teachers, I mean the coaches, you know, taught me how to play basketball. So all these childhood upbringing, I think that's the key foundation. When you grew up in Shanghai, you were on a semi-professional basketball team. Describe how your passion for sports influenced you as a leader and how has it empowered you in business? Sports, I believe it's a uh, beginning of, especially for youth, to really help them to uh, discover uh, their passion I, and the teamwork concept, as well as uh, learn how to uh, work with uh, uh, people and communicate. It's a good communication with people. It's a people skill tool, at the same time, really to teach you how to be very, very confident uh, uh, in yourself. And uh, of course, it's fun. More importantly, it's fun to me. I was very passionate every day. Wake up in the morning, first thing, think of before even thinking about my class. And, you know, and I thinking about, oh, in the afternoon, I'm going to, after class, and I'm going to uh, go practice basketball. So I think a passion, teamwork, and uh, to build a very uh, strong confidence and um, working with people. And I think that's very helpful for me. What's one piece of advice you would give to aspiring entrepreneurs who are looking to strike out on their own very much the way you did many, many years ago? Well, you just have to believe in yourself. I think passion is key, believing in yourself and uh, also make sure that uh, it is a long term. In the 18 years of the history of Marvell, my company, my focus has been always long term. And then, you know, if you lead a team, you got to lead by example. You got to make sure that uh, your passion and you, you have passion and for the industry, you have passion for what, whatever you do, but you also have to have a passion and com compassion for your people. And this is why I look at myself, you know, I'm, I'm the glue for my family, but I see Marvell, I'm also glue, the glue for Marvell because I take care of uh, my people and I, I, you know, I always uh, make sure that when we were little, you know, small, I used to, on the weekends, uh, have some time to uh, do cookings for my engineers, you know. It just, it's the, I, I see the natural talent, especially as a female. We just naturally a caretaker. Who takes care of you? Well, <laughs> that's a great question. You know, I, my family and friends and Marvell and everybody, I, I look at when you view people take care of me, it's, a, it's called a wing-wing, right? When I reach out to make my partner, uh, customer successful, and then I'm part of the success. So therefore, I see it's a bi-directional. I often talk to leaders who look back at their career and cite setbacks or failures even as some of the most defining moments that have propelled them forward, that have allowed them to achieve success. If you think about a failure or a setback in that way, has there been one that's been more defining for you in your career? Well, we, we had, you know, several years ago, we had some uh, challenges to do with, uh, you know, the, uh, the GNA area. But I look at, you know, 
this type of lesson uh, is something that uh, uh, we all need to realize when you bring people in, you know, my expertise in engineering, but it, it really sometimes is by luck, right? You, you, you brought, try to bring the best of the best, you believe you have the best best, and at the end of the day, it's like a playing basketball, you know. Uh, if one of the uh, five made some mistake, you might lose a game. So even those certain challenges, you feel like, uh, oh, you know, why <laughs> drag me into it, right? It's, uh, but still, you have to be strong. You know, you got to come back and, and to be passionate because we, I have responsibility to serve this industry because that's my passion.